Today, we are so privileged to have Shayla Visser on our show. Shayla is the National Director of Alpha Canada, and she just sees a move of God across our nation. Thank you, Shayla, for being here with us. It's so great to be with you, Lori. Yeah, and I mean, we've met each other over the years. Mm -hmm. We're crossing paths, you know, in Canada. So many good things happening in Canada. But before we get there, tell us about Shayla. How did you, uh, tell us a little bit of your faith journey. You know, I grew up in a rural community in yeah. southwestern Ontario. Okay. And I had a wonderful family. My mom took us to church growing up. And uh, we went to a really tiny church. Like yeah. when it was full, it was 80 people. Okay. And uh, you know, that's the average church size in Canada. I know. I know. So I went to the average size church there in Canada yep. and grew up with a great faith um, understanding from my mom. But I gave it all up when I went to university. Mm. I sort of wanted to fit in yeah. and wanted to think more about uh, boys, <laughs> friends. Fun. Okay, you're the normal some academics, girl. Right, yeah, yeah. but I really did want to think more about me than about faith. Yeah. And my poor mother at home praying like crazy. Yeah. Uh, That's but what mamas do. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And so I'm very grateful to my mom. Yeah. But what happened is by the end of my university life, that sort of fun had faded, mm -hmm. and it no longer felt very meaningful, and it felt like there was a big void. And I met a young woman at Western. I went to the yeah. University of Western Ontario at Huron College, and uh, I met her there, and I was just so taken by her. Mm. Knew she was a Christian. Yeah. She didn't know I had any Christian background, and my faith came alive wow. in my last year of university. And it was like I took off, yeah. because I had all of this grounding yeah. from growing up in a wonderful Christian community but it hadn't really gone from my head to my heart yeah. in a really significant way. And it did in my last year of university. And from then on, I was just really motivated by how could I make a difference in the world? Yeah. And I thought I was gonna be in business. Really? I just thought that was my trajectory, got yeah. my first job in Toronto. And what I found is more and more women that I was looking up to that had quite senior executive roles in, in the marketing world, which is where I was, were actually not very satisfied with their lives. And so I started asking questions like, how do, how do I help them? How do I get on a track that doesn't end up where they're at? Yeah. And so I started realizing that they need Jesus and yeah. how can I help? And I right. ended up going into vocational ministry and it's been 20 plus years wow. of doing that. And really my whole goal in life is how do I help people meet Jesus? Yeah in an authentic that's way. That's our goal too. Yeah. I mean, honestly, that's why we do this show is how do we help people meet Jesus? That's right. And you know, it is true that we can go on this trajectory in our life where we think we're getting somewhere, but without the supernatural, really, experience mm -hmm. of a relationship with God, which is real yeah. and tangible and like where the rubber meets the road, right, changes our life. You had a miraculous healing in your life. Yep. You came down with fungal meningitis. My goodness, I never knew what that was. But you were miraculously healed. Tell us about that. I mean, you're not going to believe it, Laurie, but I had just taken on the role of National Director of Alpha Canada when I get this illness. Like, it's wow. a year and three months in, which is the worst time when you're coming into an organization. It's your first real right? significant leadership opportunity and you get taken out for six months, like taken out. And God miraculously healed mm -hmm. this fungal ball that was on my brain. I had wonderful medical care here in BC, but it changes your whole perspective on life. Cause I think at that point, early on in, in running an organization, God said to me, you're not in charge. And I can do this News without you. Yeah and I can do it with you. Yeah. And he's given me a chance to do it with him mm. in a beautiful way rather than thinking I needed to strive okay. to get it done, but that's rather a good place invited into it. You know, that's a good place to be. And it's a very free, I was gonna ask you, what leadership lesson have you learned? But I mm. bet you that's probably one yeah. of the primary ones, right? Yeah, I think really for me, both the healing, but also having led the organization for 10 years, I realized that all of who I am and what I offer to the staff and as we serve the church in Canada is based out of my abiding in Christ yeah. and being filled with the Spirit so and offering cool. what God is doing in me to them. Yes. And I think in that way, that's where my greatest leadership capabilities come from is out of abiding, mm -hmm. which then leads me to lead how the Spirit's leading me, but also to be uh, led in such a way that I can listen to what the Spirit's doing in someone else as well. I. I love that you say that because I think sometimes we put leaders up here, we think it's all about skill or experience, and it's not that those things don't count, mm -hmm. but you can't give what you don't have. And you're leading a national organization that actually is inviting people to who are in relationship with Christ. 
And I'm so encouraged, Shayla, that you're a person who abides in Christ. Well, let me say, Laurie, just so I can be yeah. completely honest. That you're human too? Yeah. I'm very human. But it's, and how, what would you tell people? How do we do that better? Well, I, I'll tell you my story very briefly is that a couple of years ago, it's probably three years ago now, I actually worried for my own soul. I was like, mm. you know what? I'm not sure the depth of my relationship with Jesus can meet the breadth of the opportunities I have in leadership. And it really concerned me because I was like, I am going more and more broad, yeah. more and more opportunities, more and more yeah. influence. And I knew the roots weren't deep enough. Yeah. And so God wonderfully provided a spiritual director for me that I really yeah. like. And I have a spiritual director too. Sure. Yeah. And it's made yeah. a massive difference yeah. because what it's done for me is given me the discipline yeah. of daily time with God and not just prayer of hear all my requests, God, yeah. but actually pausing and being present mm. with the Trinity yeah. and, and welcoming yeah. them to speak to me and to mold me and yeah. fashion me, yeah. tell me anything I need to know for yeah. that day, guide yeah. me through scripture. And it's just awakened this new love mm. for the Trinity and a desire to hear from the Lord and not just speak to the Lord, yeah. but hear from the Lord yeah. and lead out of that place of listening, mm -hmm. not speaking. Oh, I hear, I mean, I call it shut up and listen. Yeah.